Hi, I'm Ben Marriott. In this series, we will be creating this animation from scratch in After Effects. And in this video, we will be building our abstract sea creature. So we're starting with a single shape, which is a looping square turning into a circle and bouncing. And this is in a composition I've called Creature 01 Shape, because we're gonna build this with three layers of precoms. So this will be our very bottom layer. So to create the next layer, let's drag this into the new comp icon and rename that comp Creature 02 Ring which is where we're going to create a ring of these comps. So let's duplicate this comp with Control or Command D, and let's keep doing that until there are eight of them. Now let's open up the rotation properties of all of these with R on our keyboard, and we're gonna rotate each one of these 45 degrees from the last one. The first one can stay where it is, and the second one will increase by 45, the next one by 90, the next 135, and so on until we've got our complete ring. And the next step is going to add a lot of interest to this animation, and that is to add some delay, so not all of these are animating at the same time. And we can do that simply by offsetting them in the timeline. If we slide the second comp just one frame across, it delays it slightly, and that one frame difference can be really appealing. So let's delay the next one by two frames, and the next one by three frames, and the next by four, and let's hide all the others for a moment and take a look at what we have here. Now we've got something really interesting. We've got overlapping action, where it looks like these duplicates are reacting to the first one being triggered. Organic motion doesn't happen all at once. If you want your motion to feel less robotic and mechanical, delaying elements can really help with that. Now let's make the others visible and offset the remaining three, but offset them less and less going down the layer stack so that the most delayed comp is the one on the bottom of the ring. And now we've got this way more interesting than our ring from before. Now at the start of the comp, there's a few frames where some of them are missing, but we're gonna hide those in the next layer. So now let's drag this composition, Creature 02, into a new comp, and let's call this one Creature 03 Tunnel. And inside this comp, we're gonna need four copies of this comp, so let's duplicate until there's four. And then we're gonna open up the scale of each of these and scale them each down by half. So the first one will be at 50% scale, then the next one 25, and then the last 12.5. There we go. And to get these to align in a more natural way, let's take number two and four, open up their rotation and rotate them 22 and a half degrees, half of 45. So now they line up in between the shapes on the layers below and above them, there. And of course we can do that same trick by offsetting these ones as well. So let's move this layer back one frame, this one two, and this one three. So now we've got a wonderful delay going inwards as well. And to get rid of these missing frames at the start, Let's just select all of our layers at the one second mark and drag them over so our composition starts one second in after they've already been revealed. Now, because all of these comps are just duplicates of one base animation, all we need to do is make a single change to this one base animation and it will affect the whole chain of comps. But I prefer yellow, so let's undo that. And now our creature is complete. In the next video in this series, we're putting these all together into a scene with depth and parallax. Thank you.